Oh, yeah. Catfish Fridays. Oh, yeah. Look at all that goodness. Look at all that goodness. Oh, yeah. Stay tuned. How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome back to another edition of Eats with Fifi. Guess what we got on the menu today? Today, we've got some cream cheese and parsley mashed potatoes. We got some hush puppies. We got some catfish filet. Oh, yeah. We got some Texas Pete on deck. And we also have some of that Louisiana Ramelade, Ramelade sauce. Maybe there'll be a thumbnail. And I hear, you guys, I got some butter. So we're going to put on these mashed potatoes. You know, I try to keep butter out of some of my recipes because I do love butter, y'all. I do love butter. So, it's a give and take relationship. Ooh, oh yeah. Give and take relationship. Mm-hmm. Let y'all see that. I see that? There we go. Oh, yeah. Get it to where y'all can see that. Can y'all see that up good? Up close? All that goodness right there? Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Let's get into it. How's everybody doing today? What are you doing? Are you sitting down eating with me today? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? My day was good. I do want to send out prayers for those people down in the Gavison, Houston area that are being affected by the storms. I know uh, Texas, uh, Trika, Texas T, uh, Miss uh, C's Corner, Miss C's Muck Bangs, uh, Yummy Bites is down there, You Love Shawnee's down there, uh, Tasty uh, Muck Bang Eats is down there, quite a few uh, Muck Bangers down there. So prayers go out to them as they weather the storm. Mm. Jaw still sore, but we can be all right, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm. Simple yet good. Mm -hmm. mm. And y'all just boil these. Then took them out with water, added butter and cream cheese, some of that coarse steak seasoning. What was it? Mm. See that? Let's get a little of this. I mean, this is the hot sauce. So, how are you guys doing today? I was listening to uh, Missy McBain. She was saying they didn't even let the kids out to school. The Houston IC. It's crazy. And what is this? Bad season? All the um, storms are named with some type of Spanish name. Yeah, I went to work last night. And I work with some people who would rather walk around the hospital trying to find me instead of take care of the patient. Sense. Lazy folks. I have a full 24 hours to work tomorrow. I'm going to be tired. But it's going to be okay. <clears throat> we got a asshole here. Huh? 
I fried these for uh, four minutes, two minutes on each side. And I fried my fish for eight minutes, four minutes on each side. Mm -mm. Back to work. Work is a double edged sword because management staffs based on patient census. They don't necessarily include patient acuity. They say they do. But the numbers still look to me like it's still by numbers. And my poor nurses at the beginning of the shift, I guess they've been busy all day. You know, health care is 24 business, so what them get done on days, you gotta pick it up on nights. They just say they hit one heck of a day. We get there on night shift. I had one patient family member. He wants to know why come his wife didn't get a tray. Okay. First off, I'm airway management. I ain't got nothing to do with food. Nutrition or none. Thinking this in my head. So, I understand. I may have been the first person he's seen in a minute. So, I tell him I'll relay a message to the nurse. So, I'm going to tell the nurse. But I realize I'm telling the nurse and she got there when I got there. We get there, at what, a couple hours after dinner. So, how's she going to answer the question? So, I go to the nurse supervisor. Let the nurse supervisor what happened. Hopefully, they'll settle it. So, I see the patient and the family member two or three more times throughout the night. Okay. Towards the end of the shift. He asked me again. I'm trying to think of, You know my role in, in her care. And that's not a part of it. But he keep asking as if I'm going to be able to fix that. So I go back to nurse supervisor. Because he, every time he asks me, I got to go and address it. You never know, she could have got busy, forgot, anything. Welcome back, I just relay the message again. I don't want to tell him. And it's not like she's not getting nutrition. It was just that they just started her refeeding process. And I don't know if she's supposed to get trained or not. You know? But I do hope they answer the question. Because I hope when I go back. He not asking me the same question again. I ain't gonna be able to handle it. I ain't gonna be able to handle it. Cause I don't want to tell him I don't know. You know, it's not. You know, he's seeking information. You know, they may consider him a chronic complainer, but his questions are very valid. I just don't have the answer. Because I wasn't there. So, I hope they answer that question before I get back.
Uh, don't want him to feel helpless and hopeless. Because a lot of these facilities promise them the moon and the stars. And that's, that's, not, that's not really what it's cracked up to be. I see Tanya Howell on the flavor train to say, Get on the flavor train. Doop, doop. She put vinegar on her. Not the same type of vinegar, but they don't see. Oh, it brightens up salad, so why not? Mm -hmm. Works on that too. No fat, low calories. Mm -hmm. You might be on something, y'all. Pretty good. Good. It says it's splash on salads, baked potatoes, coleslaw, rice, green beans, and beets. But you can bet on this fish. Thanks, Lady T Sensation, aka Tanya Howe. I like her jingle. So uplifting. Now, so I might too still swallow. See my hat? It's white, white, black, and gray fatigue. I think I'm gonna get some of these hats and I'm gonna get Eagle Fifi on it. I'm leaning towards Feasters. Feasters. It's on the comment section on my community post. Because you are a star. <clears throat> Whether you know it or not, you are a star and you rock. Because you know what? You don't necessarily go up against the grain, but you do your own thing. That's how we do a Fifi style. My world, my way. Everybody's still holding, <clears throat> holding down jobs, so that's good. I have to be at work at 6 30 in the morning. My other baby got to be at work at 7, and my other baby got to be at work at 4. All in the morning. And they're all saving money, so I am very happy. Very, very happy they're saving money. Because it's so important. Trying to teach these young men what I can. I can't teach them how to be a man, but I can teach them a little responsibility. What little I know. Like I tell them, I've made every mistake you don't need to make. Let me help you. I have no shame letting them know that I'm imperfect. That's the only way you grow. Yes, I think. I'm okay, crying, guys. Getting full. I shouldn't eat much. Didn't eat much in my tooth.
still acting up. But I do want you guys to be blessed, stay blessed, and be a blessing to somebody else. And smile at somebody. It's free. You made you change their world. And I'm going to say thank you to all my people who just joined the family. I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you care to share, share my video with anybody. If you have some questions for me, leave me some comments down in the comment section. And uh, we can go from there. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Bye.